Okay, this is the first excerpt for ILMEA violin. Um, so let me write in a couple fingerings here. Um, right here. I would start in third position, but then reach up for this four harmonic. Three, one, and then cross over a three. And where you cross over for this three, it's a G sharp, so it will not be a low three. Um, I would stay in third, so that'll be a two, one, four, etc. Shift up on this D to a two, and then it'll be four, three, two, one, oh, let's see, let me get, try to get this a little better, a little closer in, two, one, one, okay, and then we'll be back in third position, you'll go up to a higher, reach for a fourth finger there, and then it'll be a three, three, two, half step there. So let's just do little um, bits and pieces at a time. I'll just do those first two lines. So in third position, there's your note in third position. Let's just do that much again. So I'll go back to the top, starting in third position. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now I'm gonna go on and play the rest of that line. And then let's stop and isolate um, the next part um, with the eighth note. So first of all, let's separate this slur by measure. I don't want to cover up the notes. So we'll take two bows on that measure. So it'll be then a bow. Okay, let's do that again, right on the eighth notes, ready, go. Some things to remember on the E string, it is a high two, it's a G sharp, then low one, E sharp, back to the high two, high two on the A. Okay, so um, I'm going to start at the beginning one more time and play the first three lines. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now the next part, the dynamic changes, and it's piano, but it is a spiccato, so you want to be sure to bounce the bow. And let's play it slowly once, like this. So a couple things to remember. I'm playing that uh, B sharp here with a three, and then the C sharp with a fourth finger. Um, so throughout that passage, we have high threes with the G sharp on the D string and the C sharp on, on the G string, but for that B sharp, I'm playing a regular three and then a low four for C sharp. So I'll play it a little faster. Ready, go. Okay. 
Okay, then a little faster. Ready and go. Okay, then the next phrase um, is a little different pattern. Let's play that slowly together. Ready, slowly. A little faster. Ready, go. And then a little faster. Ready, and go. Okay, then uh, the next line starts very soft. So remember that as you're going up that passage there, we've got G sharp, high three on the D string. We've got high two on the E string. Let's do that again. One, two, ready, go. Okay, and then the next one, after the rest, uh, don't forget high three on the D string. Ready, and go. Let's do that again. Ready, and go. And on that one, you're going to start on an up bow. And then on all of these on the next line, every time you'll start on an up bow. So let's jump to the next line and play slowly together. Ready and go. Um, so let's see. Oh, no, I misspoke here. We're going to do this bowing. That one's yeah. So that should work out. So we'll alternate the up, down, up, down. Yeah. Okay, so let's start on that line one more time. Ready and go. And then we're going to have uh, mark the bowing down here to match the bowing at the top. Um, so this. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so this will be connected right here. Oh, yeah, and then this is the slur there. And then obviously that ending is the same as the beginning.